let's have a look at simple heating. In simple heating, the specific humidity will remain constant. However, the relative humidity, omega, will decrease. If we draw the simple heating process on our psychometric chart, it will move from state 1 to the right to the state 2 horizontally. This scale representing the specific humidity omega. We now observe that the specific humidity at the first state is equal to the specific humidity at the second state. Therefore, the specific humidity omega is constant. It is also observed that the relative humidity is reduced, while the dry bulb temperature increases. Our area of interest will be lies in this channel. As mentioned previously, we are going to have two mass balance. One is for the dry air and the other one will be for the water or vapor. We are also going to have the energy balance. For the mass balance of the dry air, we know that it is the summation of the mass flow rate of the dry air at the inlet is equal to the summation for the mass flow rate of the dry air at the outlet. Since we only have one inlet and one outlet, therefore, the mass flow rate at the inlet will be equal to the mass flow rate at the outlet. To ease our analysis, we are going to assign the mass flow rate as m dot e. For the mass balance of the water or vapor, it is given by the summation of the mass flow rate of the water vapor for the inlet is equal to the summation for the mass flow rate of the water vapor at the outlet. Since the air flows from the inlet to the outlet without any humidifying or dehumidifying process, therefore the mass balance for the water or vapor will become the mass flow rate for the water vapor at the inlet will be equal to the mass flow rate of the water vapor at the outlet. Since we know that m dot v is equal to m dot a times with the omega, therefore we are going to have this expression. Since we know that the specific humidity at state 1 is equal with the specific humidity at state 2, therefore we can assign this as omega. Now we can get these types of expression for our mass balance for water or vapor. For the energy balance, the terms m dot h representing the energy of flowing fluid. Therefore, if we are having a flowing fluid through our channel, we are going to have the terms m dot h at the inlet and the outlet. For simple heating, the heat is being supplied to our system, which is inside the channel. Therefore, if we perform the energy balance, we are going to get energy coming in to our system is equal to the energy coming out from our system. Note that state 1 is at the inlet section and state 2 is at the outlet section. If we rearrange this equation, we are going to get the heat transfer rate into our system is equal to the mass flow rate of the dry air times with the enthalpy at the outlet minus with the enthalpy at the inlet. This equation will give us in the unit of kilojoule per second or kilowatt. If we divide our heat transfer rate at the inlet with the mass flow rate of the dry air, we are going to get heat transfer in the unit of kilojoule 
per kilogram. 